everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel will you stop that oh my goodness right away oh they just won't let me tape in peace <sighs> but anyway make it make sense whoo i ain't been filming for a minute have i'm so glad y'all waited on me Whew. just woke up from a nap came home i was tired as hell today and I thought, damn, I'd do a video. Next thing I knew, I was asleep. <laughs> so I'm coming back to the channel. Saying, what's up? How y'all been doing? And we stop. We are going to try to make sense of this story we got here. Okay. And my thing is, I'm so damn tired of hearing about Zion and Zaya. I'm like, boy, y'all show this putting her in a bubble where she don't think. Well, I'm going to use she because she want, he or he, but she want to be a she. So I'm just going to use he. No, she. See, I'm confused. They don't got me so fucked up with this whole scenario on, on this baby girl. You know what I'm saying? This is too much. It's too much. And all reason I say it's too much is because they act like they ain't got nothing else to talk about. But their transgender daughter. I'm like, don't you have more kids in the family you need to be paying attention to? Are you going to create animosity in your family? Just because Zion is taking presence when there's so many other people just like Zion. And they have the same sexuality, personality. Damn, every time I turn around, see, this is the confusing part to me. Now, you see that picture of her boyfriend, right? Now, Z Zaya is really Zion, meaning a guy, right? A little boy. Teenage little boy. And the girl, he's supposed to be, a boy, supposed to be going with, she a she. She was born a she, she a she, but she acting like a he. Well, I tell you, they just, they confused the hell out of me. <laughs> they confused the hell out of me. So, I'm like, well, wouldn't that make Zaya... A heterosexual? Because technically, she's still a boy. Okay, she still have a penis. And the girl that wants to be a boy, she still have her vagina. So, wouldn't they really still be a normal couple? Or how we consider normal a boy and a girl without putting in letters of the LGBT community? It's already freaking me out. I, I, I can't remember what I'm thinking about. Because I'm like, Lord, should I say she a girl? Should I say a boy? Where is she? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's very, very confusing. So I know it must be confusing for the rest of the family. Because technically, she is a heterosexual. Meaning, she's dating a girl. And technically, he is a boy. And the girl he's dating happens to be a want identifies as a boy. But she's a girl in real life. So you still got the opposite sex, which they're still formulating a relationship. So you see how you see how crazy I mean? You see how I'm just trying to understand this scenario. But I'm like, and then, you know, Gabrielle Union and uh, Dwayne Wade coming out telling all their daughter business. Like, you know, why do we need to know whether this little girl wants to... Not do Pride Month, but want to feed families. Okay, what they have to do with Pride? You see what I'm saying? The Pride whole uh, festival around this time. She's just doing a good humanitarian thing as a human man. I'm like, if they don't give this girl some space to stop talking about her all the time, she is going to have a true identity crisis. Because I'm just, you know, when I was trying to pick up the store and I was trying to find pictures and shit, I'm like, I'm damn confused. So I know that I got to be confused. I know she got to be confused. And the ones doing all the confusing are them too. Because they want to be the poster child of the LGBT community. I'm like, 
don't it, it's either her or is it Kavaya? And for I, I'm trying to figure out is Kavaya gonna is Zane um what's her name? Gabriel, you ain't gonna turn Kavaya? Cause they they just piss poor parents. I'm telling you, they just piss poor parents. And I'm like, oh, all of them need to be in therapy. Every last one of them need to be in therapy. Then Dwayne Wade coming out sometime talking about he still um he he just feels when his daughter go out, you know, something gonna happen to her. Or, you know, the world's not gonna see her as he see her and shit. And I'm like, you damn right they not because her being a boy wanted to identify as a girl. You still got prejudiced people out there. Hell, you still got prejudiced people that don't like black folks. So she really got a target on her back. She got she 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 uh, a boy naturally. You know, black boys always get you know missing and murdered. I'm just saying they get you know some things happen to our black you know little people. And then by her being wanted to be a girl, you know she she's gonna have to have how girls should be so catty. You know what I'm saying? And, and then. It's just some, it's a messed up mess. It's just a mess. And then you she gonna get what you call it, uh discriminated against if she try to go get a job. But then I'm thinking, no, she she her parents millionaires or whatever. We, she ain't gotta worry about working. She's just gonna inherit the legacy of money. That's it. So we really don't even care about you know what she's gonna do because LGBT community got rights, black folk got rights, but they're still infringed upon. You see what I'm saying? But I'm like, I'm tired of them. And then he went, uh, what is uh, fingernail polish. First it was black, and that's blue, and then it was yellow. I'm like, damn, you going through an di- identity crisis too, man. Oh, well, I just wish they just sit their ass down somewhere and stop putting this girl on blast of her sexuality. Let her identify with her sexuality. You just support her, you know, however you can to make her feel, you know, loved. Because that's what it's really all about. And then, what the girl, if, what if she turns back when she turned 18 and said, no, nah, I don't want to be a girl anymore. I'm really identifying on having feelings, you know, for uh, a male type personality now. You see what I'm saying? So I'm, like, I'm sick of them. I'm like, where's her real mama at? We'll never see this child real mama. I'm like, is she in the child life at all? Only thing I see Gabrielle Union going around him, putting the uh, Zaya here, there, and everywhere, thinking she got the bomb life. When that life, it just comes with so many difficulties with your family members, with people in general, the social media realm. I mean, they already dragging the poor child. Talking about she, her hair, is something wrong with her hair. She need to get a better extension. It, some stuff, a lot of, you know, cruel stuff I, I read about how they doing this poor child. I'm like, well, you know, when Gabrielle Union, as well as Dwayne Wade, if they continue to create a bubble life for her, then she's never going to get used to the real opinions from real everyday people. Even, you know, um... What do you call them? Celebrity people. They're ordinary people. It's just whatever they did to become famous in the eyes of, you know, the humanity race is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, these two are just trying to stay relevant. And they're trying to pimp their child out by always keeping her in social media. Talking about her comings and goings. What she do every day. How she feel every day. Just bullshit. You know, let this girl live just like any other child that's being raised out there and trying to navigate through their teenage years. You know what I'm saying? Them are the worst years that you could possibly think of, you know, being a part of. Because you really get judged on a higher a platform, you know. You know, who are your parents or why your parents let you do this or you know, why you hanging around nerds? Yes, it's just too much. You know, it's just really, really too much. But I, like I said, I'm sick of Gabrielle Union acting like she's that child's real mama. And just because Dwayne Wade happened to be famous, famous in a NBA player, why'd you have to strip the mother total of her rights? You know what I'm saying? Her, Gabrielle would never be her biological mom. And just us being kids and identifying with our biological, biological parents, especially the ones that really want to be in their life, she's probably mimic a lot of her mom ways, but you could never tell because, hell, she ain't never with her. I never see a get-together where they invite her to the parties, to her to the going-on trips, you know what I'm saying? Unless she just don't want to be. I don't even see her with her daughter, period. You know, let them have a mother and daughter day or something. 
<sighs> Family, y'all tell me what y'all think about this mask. Because inqual- equality is just a word now. Don't nobody really have no equality. Not in America. Because we still got two phases of of things we can't even deal with. We can't even get rid of in our world. And that's racism and discrimination. Okay? So, it's, it's just, I'm like... Oh, uh, this is too much. I can't make sense of this, okay? Because I think they're two foolish uh, parents, right? They are two foolish parents that you can't tell. You can't just you can't tell in them anything because they're always out here. And I'm like, what about the other kids? Dwayne, wait, don't you have other kids? You should be worried about. I know you do. I know you do. But you and Gabrielle just milking uh, Zion uh, sexuality to the to the top, you know, and it's just aggravating it's frustrating and then you sit up there dressed like man you ain't scottish you ain't Ireland. what the hell are you doing with a kilt on for most people that didn't know that they might be looking at you like you know are you trying to turn to what it's just i can't make it make sense y'all but if y'all don't get out of them comments y'all can make it make sense tell me okay because this is one i can't do nothing with even when i was trying to put the uh the uh video together i was still getting confused you know what i'm saying like why the hell i'm confused i shouldn't be the one confused you know i should be able to look at this situation and be able to talk about it but really i just i don't think this young lady really understands about sexuality because you could go through so many different phases you could be thinking you like girls i mean your boys but you really don't because this other urge in you is really putting you to the girl stage again like i said it's a very messed up situation because, again, she is dating a girl and he happens to be a boy. Wait a minute. No, he's a boy acting like a girl and the girl he's going with is acting like a boy. So he's still in a, a, a heterosexual relationship. They don't help me with it. Come confused. <laughs> and that's all I got for this video, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.